Well, today I'm going to generate some actual original content. It is going to be a tutorial on how to install I2P. I2P is an anonymous peer-to-peer -peer darknet software written in Java. Wow, what does that mean? Well, what that means is basically you can access an alternative private anonymous internet if you have uh, Java installed on your computer. So, this is a brand new install. Let me install Java quickly. So, open up Chrome. We're going to go to java.com. We're going to download Java for free. By the way, I2P is completely free and completely open source. So what that means is you can, uh, if, if you know how to program in Java a bit, you can uh, actually make things for it, I guess. All right. So we're downloading it. All right. Now we're installing it. Right, it is installing the base files for Java. We okay, so it's not quite done yet. It's doing something, but now it is done. Okay, close. Now comes the step for downloading I2P. We're going to go to uh, i2p2.de. This is the home site for I2P. So we're just going to navigate there. All right. So you can just look at all these diagrams and try to understand it, I guess. But I, I don't think you understand it unless you're like really informed about, you know, things that are encrypted and network things, I guess. So basically, we're going to we're going to skip to the part where we download it. Basically. Uh, you have to be well, t well. The way it works basically is you tunnel all your traffic through your peers, and uh, you. Uh, it's different from Tor because it's uh, completely an completely anonymous in the sense that your uh, traffic, inbound traffic, is separated from your outbound traffic. So they go through different routes to get to your host or to your target, basically. So we're going to download the graphical installer. We're going to save it. All right, it's going to take two minutes to do. So in the meantime, I'm going to get my IRC client ready. I'm going to use IRC, which is a great, great command line uh, IRC client, basically. All right, so I'm going to download it and set it up quickly while this is downloading. Uh, IRC is Internet Relay Chat, which is the most ancient uh, chat program protocol in existence that still is in use today to my knowledge at least so now we downloaded the sources oh wait I was not supposed to download the sources I'm supposed to download uh, the binary for Mac for Windows so let's do that quickly sorry wrong link here we need to download the executable my bad so you're gonna download the Windows binary if you're on Windows right here alright you're gonna click on this this link right here which is in the binary section All right, showing all downloads. Let's see if it's done yet. No, it's not quite done downloading yet. So we're gonna quickly install uh, IRC. All righty. So it is uh, in my documents downloads. Okay, we're gonna quickly install it. Run. We're gonna select a, di a different installation directory. We're gonna put it uh, on the desktop in a new folder called IRC. All right and extract it there. And boom, you have an IRC client ready. All you have to do is quickly make a a shortcut to the to the correct file in there, which I will show you how to do. New, you right click the desktop, you go new shortcut browse, and you look in that folder which is uh not there, but on the desktop, you go to IRC then you want to select IRC CMD, this one right here, the second one right there, the one that is a bat file or a batch file. So you want to click next, call it IRC or IRC command, whatever. And now we're going to quickly make sure it works. Yep, it works. So we're going to just close this. Okay. So 
Is it done downloading yet? Let's find out. Yes, I2P installer has finished downloading. Okay. So, let's find the file. And to install it, we're going to double click the binary. We're going to do run. We're going to select your language, English, because, you know, I don't think anyone that doesn't speak English is going to be watching this. So, all right, next. Okay, agree to the license by clicking next. Now we're going to do the default uh, install directory. Okay, it has not been created yet, so we're going to create it. Okay, and now it's just installing the base stuff, and it's ready. That's all you have to do to install it, not to configure and use it. Let's quickly make quickly make a a desktop shortcut. Okay, done close this window, to configure it and run it and use it, that is the slightly more difficult part. To start it, first of all, you want to do start I2P, the restartable one. You want to double click that. And up, up will pop a, well you want to unblock it, first of all. So quickly minimize that. You want to unblock it so it can do the proper things it needs to do. And it will open up a debug console and that will be used for, you know, if there's an error, you can just submit that big, huge stack trace or a bunch of uh, error messages to the developers if you need to. So that's, that's why we're going to use the restartable one, so you can just look at the stack trace and, anyways, okay, that's debug information. Now, we want to uh, refresh this page. The network is testing. It may take a while to bootstrap the network and uh, have the test network testing be, n I mean, network be okay and not testing. So we're going to quickly wait for that to happen. Seeding so fetched uh, router info from, okay, so. So if it doesn't take, uh, if it doesn't take short enough for you, you can just restart the entire thing. What you do is you go to, uh, I2P tunnel, refresh, right? And uh, this is, these are your services, basically. This is not where you restart, I guess, but th these are each of the services that I2P provides. You have an HTTP proxy, you have an IRC proxy, you have an SMTP proxy, a POP3 proxy, and uh, let's see if we have connected to the network yet. No, so we're gonna quickly wrong button. Come on. So we're going to quickly press the restart button to see if it uh, does it correctly this time. Ahem. <coughs> All right, the router is off now, and we're going to try getting back to it. Alright, it's so restarted. Alrighty. Alright, cool. It's getting the peers, as in, uh, it found enough peers to get things from, to get the resources that you need to basically use I2P. You're getting peers uh, to use I2P. The way I2P works is that you have to find peers to tunnel through to basically travel every through everything on the network and uh, once you have enough peers I guess I'm not entirely sure but once you have a, t a, a relay or a tunnel going then you can start to do stuff so I'm just gonna wait and cut the rest out and wait until this happens because this is kind of it takes a long time sometimes okay here we go actually so now it says network okay when this happens when you get to the network okay part you are completely ready to use I2P and the network that comes with it or the no sorry you're completely ready to use I2P basically and now I'm going to show you how to browse on the I2P network using HTTP or basically the web browser for uh, for I2P going to configure it in Firefox with a separate, we're going to use a separate browser for I2P, 
to basically separate the different traffic so you don't have to turn like the proxy on and off each time you want to switch networks. We're just going to use an entirely different browser to do I2P versus the regular internet. So we're going to go to Tools, Options, Advanced, and click on the Network tab, and then do Settings. Yes, it's kind of a lot. So you want to select the manual proxy configuration, and in the HTTP proxy, you want to do the address 127.0.0.1 on port 4444. Four, four. All right, so this will configure your Firefox browser that we're going to use separately to a web browser for I2P. So we're going to go to www.paste.com i2p2.i2p Did I get it wrong or something? Well, at least we got onto the uh, I2p network. It, it, the proxy is working. However, the site does not seem to be there. Did I use www incorrectly? or Anyways, it's paste. Ah, oh, here we go. Paste.i2p2.i2p. There's no www in it, apparently. So, we're going to see if we can basically, uh, well, we have access to, access to the site. It's just going to take a w little while to do everything because I2P is known for its incredible lag, and but it's the price of an anonymity, basically. Um, so, yeah, this is one site on I2P, the anonymous peer-to-peer -peer darknet, paste.i2p2.i2p. And yeah, that's how you browse. You have to find a let's go to uh, you have to find a, a site name that's already uh, in the host txt file. With I2P, you don't have a DNS server that tells you where things is, to tell you where things are. You have a text file on your uh, local system that tells you uh, where different domain names go to, and you need to modify that file if you want to add more things. I guess I'll show you that later. Hold on while I plug in my computer. Okay, now, time for the cool part, the IRC configuration for this. So we're going to double click on IRC. All right, we're going to type slash server localhost uh, 6668. And we have a connection. Wow, this is better than the five other times I've done this tutorial that I've not recorded properly. Okay, <laughs> so once it connects to it, it'll get onto the I2P IRC network, which is growing quite fast, actually. And if you like IRC, then come on down to IRC and waste time, I guess. Anyways, this is just a quick tutorial on how to connect to the uh, IRC part of I2P. Okay, so, so I'm going to change my nick to where I'm saying. I identified myself on here, so we're going to just go to a quick channel like hatch i2p, i2p, i not i3p, i2p dash chat. All right, and yes, there's going to be some lag, and here we are. We are on the IRC channel that is for i2p chatting off topic, basically. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just quite that simple, and yeah. There we go. That was a tutorial for setting up and configuring I2P, the anonymous peer-to-peer -peer darknet written in Java. Let's cut this.